Today we're going to work on three different projects using one paint inlay. It's called Lattice Rose and it's from Iron Orchid Design. After I mix some Sandy Blonde and Petticoat Pink from Debbie's Design Diary Paint, I started painting this decorative um, the door thingy that you can hang on a wall. Now for the inlays to work, you have to place it on wet paint. So once you're done painting, like I did here, once I painted this door with this color that I mixed, I took the inlay sheet and I put the patterned side onto the wet paint. So the pretty side goes on the wet paint. Then what you need to do is spritz it a little bit, or you can get a damp cloth and kind of just pat it in. This will help the ink on this paper to stay on to your project. So it's really that simple. So once that is done, what you're going to do is uh, wait for it to dry. And then once it dries, you're gonna spritz it again or get a damp cloth and go over it. And you're gonna pull this back and you're gonna see all of this prettiness right on your project. I promise you it's going to be beautiful. Also, I have to say, if you feel like not enough of it came off of the sheet, you can put it back, you know, pull it away a little bit just to check and make sure that it's on there like you want it to. And if it's not, just put it back and spritz it again and leave it on a little bit longer. But once it does dry, you need to spritz it to pull it up. Otherwise, you're going to just pull everything up and it's not going to stay on your on your project. So this is the first part of getting the inlay on there. Or this is the first part of the project of this door. So now that I'm done with the inlays, I have a little bit of the pink paint left. I don't want to waste it, don't want to throw it away. So I'm just going to put it here, there and everywhere on this door. So it'll be imperfectly perfect in a way. That's how I like my things. The next thing is once all of that is done and dry, we're going to use some white wax to seal this because you always want to seal, um, especially if you have inlays, you want to seal it to give it that protective layer next thing that we're going to do <laughs> well we're going to finish waxing but the next thing that I want to do is add a little something else to it because I feel like it's still kind of flat looking even though it has the paint and it has the inlays and it has the wax so this I thought about later usually I wax everything at the very end but I'm going to use some IOD molds and air dry paper clay also from IOD so these molds are roses and once I get these all done, I'm going to place them uh, where I want on the door. These are really super easy to use. All you have to do is just kind of get the clay, roll it up in your hands a little bit to warm it up and then work from the inside out, spreading it out when you have it in the mold. And then you're just going to pull it up. It's super easy to use um, and it's a lot of fun. You could do a lot of things with these. And then also, you can paint these. That's the great thing about these. Aren't these the prettiest things? Okay, next thing is, now that I have my molds done and I didn't film, I'm sorry about that, as I put them on the door, but all you need to put these uh, molds on the door is just some wood glue on the, on the back of them and that's it. Once they're dried, you can start painting them. You do want to paint them once a year. Dry clay has um, dried. Because if not, sometimes with your brush, you can kind of flatten them out a little bit if you, if you paint, you know, too hard. So now I'm just grabbing other paint colors that I have and I mixed a little bit. Again, I'm always mixing and just painting the roses. So this I feel like is going to make this stand out a little bit more instead of it just being 
a flat door. Um, there's a little bit of dimension to it. And you could do this in any color you like. As you can see, I've used more than one color to paint uh, these roses and kind of make them stand out a bit more. Now on to project number two. This is a little wooden um, stool box type thing and I'm painting it a coral color and I'm using yet another sheet of the Lattice Rose IOD package. This The, the Lattice Rose package um, booklet actually, it's a booklet kind of, and it has all these different sheets, the roses and all these different patterns that I'm using here. So that's what's great about this, this the Lattice Rose IOD inlay. It's more than one pattern, more than one design. This is why you can do so many projects and you can use them all on one project or you do several projects like I'm doing here. So these are just different sheets that I'm using. And again, you start out the same way. You're going to paint your project. Your paint has to be wet. You're going to put your inlay face down, the pretty side down onto the wet paint. You're going to spritz water. You're going to pat it. You can, um, just to get the, the pattern on there, the prettiness on there, you can wait for this to dry or you can blow dry it if you are in a hurry like I did here. Um, I feel like it's best to let it dry. That's just me. Naturally, let it dry naturally. Um, and then to pull the sheet up, you are going to have to again spritz it or get a damp cloth and do the same as before, before you pull it up. So this way you're not ripping the sheet because it's dry. You're not pulling the, the paint or the ink away from the sheet. It's gonna stay on the, the project. This is what the water does. So you're gonna gently pull up and your design's gonna be there. If you feel that it's not on there, you can always put this back, spritz some more and give it a little bit more time. So moving on quickly here, because we have one more project to go. I am again using white wax. So the thing with wax, um, I think I've said it before, I'm not sure. You can apply it with a brush or you can use a cloth. Make sure if you're using a cloth that it is a lint free cloth. Um, the other thing about wax is that you can mix waxes. So I have a tendency to mix colors and wax and all things like that. So this is like a greenish bluish um, wax from Debbie's Design Diary also. And I'm not, you know, the whole piece was with the white wax and then parts of it had some of this blue wax just to give it a little bit of a dimension, different type of look. I didn't want it to just be all white. So here I am adding a little bit of um, stenciling because I felt like this, <laughs> like the inlay wasn't enough. I always feel like it needs more. I'm one of those people. So I'm going to do this. This stencil came out really faint, which is fine because I wanted it to be um, kind of like dainty. After I wax. I decided that this did need just a little bit more to make it special. So I just grabbed a few of my IOD transfers that I had left over from other projects. That's what's great about these products. There's so much in them that you could um, use them in more than one project. Anyways, so I decided that I was going to use these leftover transfers that I had. Usually, I would never apply these over wax because they tend to not work well at all. If you do that, they just, it just, they don't adhere over the wax. But I figured I'd give it a try and just, just go for it because it needed something else. So I did. I put it on there and after rubbing and being careful, it did stick and they look great. I don't recommend putting them over wax, but Every now and then you just got to try and go for it. And I did. It worked. I'm happy. I did re-wax over the transfer once I was done because you do want to give that transfer a protection, pr protective layer. So yeah, that's, that's all that this needed. Okay. So now on to our last project, our third project. It's just a shelf. I am going to paint it black and again I'm going to use some more sheets from the Iron Orchid Design Lattice Rose um, set. 
um, I'm going to use three different sheets on this one little shelf, the top of it. So again, we're going to paint it. Once the paint is wet, we're going to put on our sheets. This, um, the reason I'm using these three different ones, this was kind of like a design that's on the packaging itself. And I wanted to see how it would work out. Although they had it on a dresser, I am going to do it on a shelf. So mine is a much smaller scale, but let's see how it goes. I wanted something different. Don't ever be afraid to try something because if you don't try, how will you know? How will you ever know, right? Okay, so again, wet paint. We're going to put the sheets on. We're going to let it dry. We're going to spritz it again and pull it up. As you can see, it's starting to come out. Isn't that like the prettiest thing? The rose on the black. I almost feel like I should have just did this one pattern on the shelving. But I did want to try something different. So I did go for it. Um, and I did like the way it came out, actually. So, yeah. So the next thing after this, of course, obviously, you know that we have to seal it. I did not use wax for this one um, because it is, it, it's black and I wanted it to have a little bit of a more shiny look. So I did use a patina. Oh, by the way, you can always, before you do this before, or I do it before I seal it, it's just sand it a little bit to give it more of a little vintage worn out look. And the next thing I did was paint the bottom of the shelf with the paint that I had extra the from the little stew thingy. I don't like throwing paint away. So, and I think this, this gave it a complete look instead of just being wood on the underside. It's just seal this and I'm using Big Top. It's a clear liquid patina. It will um, keep the pretty little thing that we put on the top here, the, the inlay, nice and safe with this protective barrier. And I chose this instead of wax because the black, it just makes it shinier and I feel that it just looks pretty. 